can't do it anymore, you know? I kept I kept trying a couple new contracts and I worked one or two days and I for, I can't remember things anymore. And I get anxiety as well in stressful situations after my stroke. I don't know why this one is hitting me as hard as it is. However, I know how it feels to be down and out and being too prideful to ask for help. And to put yourself out there and just ask for help, it takes a lot out of you. But let's get into it, you guys. <music> Scott is a current cast member on the 90 Day Fiance Love in Paradise Season 3. He is linked with Lydia, yes, Pedro's mother. As you guys know, they're going through their own thing right now. However, Scott is back in America, back home. You know, the show is recorded so long ago. Now, Scott is currently on contract. He is a respiratory therapist. However, he stated that he had to quit because there's things that he just can't remember due to a stroke that he had a year ago. Unfortunately, Scott stated that he cannot get back to Tampa. His dog is currently, well, honestly, he didn't say where his dog was. He just said that he had to pay $2,000 to get his dog out. So I'm figuring this might be some kind of dog hotel or dog hospital or something like that. Scott did state that he has a new contract on Monday. However, he knows that he cannot do the job due to his stroke. He has really bad anxiety and he just can't remember things. Also, Scott addresses the online bullying. So, um, everybody talks about reality and what reality is like and doing reality TV. Um, my reality is that, um, for example, um, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes and I take ownership on everything. And, you know, I, um, I always said that I'd make my father proud and always be honest and I don't think I'm honest. So I'm going to try brutal honesty. So you get to a point in your life where I've been a respiratory therapist 27 years and then Last year I had that stroke and I can't do it anymore, you know? I kept I kept trying a couple new contracts and I worked one or two days and I for, I can't remember things anymore. And I get anxiety as well in stressful situations after my stroke. I'm in this parking lot and um you know, they say you have to have tough skin. And no, uh, I try. But I think life takes a toll on you. And um, I can't do my job anymore. And I do a reality TV show. And you put your whole life out there. And everybody thinks it's fake or scripted. Very real for me. And get picked on for how I look and you know he looks like a lion or a cat or he doesn't have an upper lip and you know didn't think it would hurt but it does and uh, you know financially I put a lot of things in the back burner the last couple of years and I probably owe the IRS like thirty thousand dollars and hundred thousand dollars that credit cards have maxed out to the point that so I've been going to Planet Fitness a lot waiting to start my contract but I don't want to start on Monday because I just don't think I can do it anymore but when you max out your cards you there's all my stuff and living out of my car and take shower in the gym, because Planet, you can take shower there and work out. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I really just want to go home to Florida. And then, if I want to get my dog back, 
It's gonna be like another $2,000. And I don't have it. So, to everyone saying horrible things about me, you win. You know, they call me uh, narcissistic and arrogant and obnoxious and all sorts of things. And, you know, probably all the ex-girlfriends in my life, they're right, you know? And the people I did help, I did because I love them and I care about them to the point where I was irresponsible for myself. So, the moral of the story is, I'm here in my parking lot, trying to figure out how to get back to Florida, because I just can't do this anymore. And, um, you know, I do the best I can. And it's crazy, because here you're on TV, and the people are going to the gym or a store, people want to take a photo with you, and in the back of your mind, you're thinking, oh. Scott talks about being heartbroken and how he's walking around empty. Is this about his ex from Columbia? They only knew the irony of life and how crazy and cruel it could be. And in the meantime, you know, I walk around with a broken heart and she knows who she is. And you can get a 200 DMs a day, but in the back of your mind, you know you really love that person. To the point, you would give everything. So I'm very flattered by the comments and the compliments, but they fall short and empty because your heart really belongs to somebody else. So that's my reality. And I'm sure people will have a field day with this. Scott does state in the comment section that somebody opened up a GoFundMe, but that is not him. Also, I seen in the comment section that a lot of his castmates are reaching out to him and are supporting so him. April did a video today supporting Scott. Hi, it's Dr. Carter. I am on 90 Day Fiance Love in Paradise season three. And it's a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm here at the hospital, I'm on call. So I just wanted to hop on here and say that I stand behind my castmate. I stand behind and support my castmate. Many of you have seen the video. We appreciate everyone. We appreciate your support, the fans, the viewers. We thank you for watching the show. And I just wanna say that although you see us on TV, we are made aware, we see the comments, the positive ones and the negative ones and we're we're still human and too many negative comments can damper your own mental health and I just want to say I'm here for you Scott I support you I love you we all want to see you win we all we're all just here six Americans looking for love in paradise and I just want you guys to show us some grace be kind um, take some time for yourself for your friends near and far and um just enjoy life and enjoy your saturday have a good day i'm definitely not a reality tv star but as a youtuber we go through a lot in our personal lives and online just imagine people attacking you for who you are online and then you have to deal with a real situation as far as not being able to eat or pay your bills and then on top of that, you have to come online and pretend like everything's okay. So I can imagine what Scott is going through. And all I wanna say is prayers to him. Hopefully TLC or the producer 90 Day Fiance reach out to him and try to help him. <laughs>